Hello everybody, my name is Chris Drury with Ryonet Manufacturing. I'm the Director of uh, Manufacturing and Distribution here. And today I'm going to walk you through our awesome manufacturing plant. And we're going to go over how it's made here in the USA for the Riley Hopkins 300 6x4. And so we pretty much do it all here. And it really starts with flat steel. And from there, we take our flat steel to our CNC laser cutter. And what's beautiful about the CNC laser cutter is that it's making this part a very crucial part for our Riley Hopkins 300. And it's gonna make them the exact same every time. And so here's an example of what it's cutting right now, which will eventually be the main hinge pocket for the Riley 300. Really nice cut quality. Like I said, the same part every time. And from there, we take this metal and it either moves directly to our welding department or before that, it may need, get, need to get bent in our press brake. So that's what we're going to be doing with this part next. Welcome everybody to the press brake center. We've got James De Laverne and today, He's our press brake operator who bends all of our metal and he does it with great precision. He's been with Riley Hopkins for 15 years, so he really knows his stuff. Right now, James is bending his first part. And so what he's doing is figuring out where he needs to make the precision adjustment so that he can make perfect parts for the welding team. The, the work that he does greatly affects that. With the protractor, he's able to figure out what type of angle adjustment he needs to make to ensure the part is 90 degrees as spec. Sometimes you might need to make multiple adjustments to get to the spec you're after. All right, now he's got the bending dialed in and so he can just start running on these parts and make a continuous run. All right, we got ourselves a perfect pocket. So now we are in our welding cell we just happen to be with another veteran team member, David, been with us for 14 years. He's uh, welding up the six color wheel. We've been following some of the parts as we go along. Now we're getting to the, the crucial welding step uh, that makes it a very structural unit. All right, so now we're in our uh, robotic welding cell and we've got Esme here. She's doing multitasking, working the robotic welder as well as a, another additional welding cell. Now that Esme's got the robotic welder going, she can move on to her other tasks at her welding cell. So the part that the welding robot is executing right now is getting uh, welded at about three times the rate we're able to do it by hand. And we've got Zebulon Butcher. He's been with Riley Hopkins for 15 years. He's one of the most innovative people we have on our team. Runs our CNC machines and all the awesome programming. Right now he's setting up a new job. And uh, we're very excited to have this new 2022 CNC machine uh, just implemented this year. So through this machine, anything that would require vertical machining for the Riley 300s, the Riley 250s, all of our screen printing equipment will come through this machine. Typically, uh, typically our billet aluminum parts is what we will be machining. Now 
we are in our Riley Hopkins 300 assembly area. It's huge, right? Just kidding. It's small for a reason. The more space you give, the more space you will use. This cell really flows the Riley presses very well. So today we've got Maria, she's assembling the Riley Hopkins 300. And what she's doing right now is she's installing the printing heads. So each Riley Hopkins press is built one at a time. We wanna make sure that we go through the uh, machine and calibrate every little detail for the customer and that it has been done to spec and that when they open it and get it out of the box, it's number one, very easy for them to get up and running and assemble, but two, the confidence that it's gone through the quality control inspections and that they aren't gonna open up the press and be surprised with uh, challenges that are gonna be detrimental to their success. So now that a press has uh, passed quality assurance, we package them up in these wooden crates. So this is how it will ship to you when it arrives on your doorstep. Even though we're building these things one at a time, we do keep them in stock. So as you can see, we're ready to ship. If you guys have any more questions about the way we build our Riley Hopkins presses or anything regarding the line, reach out to us. We'd love to answer it. All right, so there you have it. That's the process that we go through to build a Riley Hopkins 300 here in America.